Hey, welcome back to Fox 26 Morning News, everyone. It is time for your daily dose of Houston Restaurant Week chefs, and we have Chef Soren Peterson with us. He has a brand new restaurant called Sorrel, and it's at West Alabama and Greenbrier, yeah, right? That's correct. Just opened. Two weeks ago. House business. Great. Very good. It's wonderful. Yeah? Okay, and he's participating in Houston Restaurant Weeks. Absolutely. Thank you so much for doing that. For a brand new restaurant that's taking on a big responsibility. Yeah, but we want to donate to a good cause. Yeah, we appreciate that. And so you have a delicious dish, a pork tenderloin, on your menu. You're going to show us and the home cooks how to make a perfect pork tenderloin. Absolutely. So let's get to it. So we have our pork tenderloin, which we marinated, and then we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to the skillets. All right, let's chat about the marinade, though, okay. right? Mar Tell Mar us about that. Yeah, we took uh, lots of fresh herbs, a little mm -hmm. bit of garlic, mm -hmm. and some uh, green peppercorn, and we crushed them all up, and we mashed them into the pork tenderloin, and then they've been sitting for about an hour. Uh -huh. And now we're going to sear it. And All right, but I noticed that you're, you're, these are wet. The peppercorns are wet. These are pickled pe green peppercorn. All right, and, and why do you like the green instead of the black? Uh, just the, uh, the heat on them. There's is a, a little different bit, flavor? Yes, oh. totally different flavors, mm -hmm. and we like that particular flavor. So mm -hmm. we added that to our marinade. And the marinade really helps a lot of meats, doesn't it, sir? It absolutely does. All right, so we marinate this for what, about an hour or about two? About an hour or two. Excellent. And it's ready to be seared. Absolutely. Right? Is so this one portion? This is one portion. Okay. It's about six, seven ounces. All right. One portion. So may I put that in for mm, you? Yes, you may. You Get go. a nice good sear. It's mm -hmm. always important to actually be able to hear the pan. That yeah. means you're searing, yeah. not boiling. Do you recommend, is there a certain method to placing the meat in the pan? Do you have any suggestions on that for the home cook? Just to normally put the size, the size of the skillet to the size mm -hmm. of the product. Okay. And you're using olive oil? A little bit of Texas olive oil. Got it. And... Now, while that's searing, this delicious polenta dish you're using as a side dish, and how do we get it like this? Well, actually, it's pretty simple. Normally, you have a soft polenta. Mm -hmm. You actually take it and pour it into a little container, let it cool, and it sits up. And then you can slice it, and mm -hmm. then you can sear it and get a nice little caramelization going in the pan. So after you make your polenta, everyone, like kind of, you know, everyone knows it's like kind of like oatmeal-y, cream of wheat kind of consistency. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you put it in the mold. Uh-huh. And then you put it in the mold, mm -hmm. and then you let it chill. Yeah. And then it sits up, and you can slice it. I love that. So you can really have fun with all different shapes, can't you? Exactly. All right. So how do we, how do we grill polenta then? Well, grill, you normally, since it is set up in the mold and you mm -hmm. slice it, you rub a little bit of oil on it. All right, so here it is. We've sliced a piece of polenta. Uh -huh. And then do just put it in the pan? Yeah, side? put a little bit of oil oh, with it. More olive oil? Yeah. You, you love can your you, olive oil. You never have too much olive oil. I agree. Get a All nice right. little sear on that. Okay. And... Um, Basically, want to cook it until it's nice and golden, and mm -hmm. if you keep about a, you know, three quarter of an inch thick, yeah. by the time it's golden on both sides, right. it's ready to go. Yeah. So just kind of sear it, almost like French toast. That's how I'm envisioning yes. it. Yeah. Just that nice little crispy crust. Yeah. So you get that little sweetness from yeah. the from the caramelization. Excellent. And then what is this delicious sauce? This looking? is what we call demi glace. May I have a little taste? Yes, you may. And explain to us what demi glace is. It is basically a veal stock that's been cooked oh. from veal bones that has been reduced down. Mm -hmm. With lots of fresh vegetables, celery, mm -hmm. onion, carrots, little tomato, mm -hmm. little vino. And that's really a basic sauce, isn't it? It sure is. Yeah. Now, it's labor intensive to make a demi glace at home. Right? Yes, but it is. But you had a good tip earlier for people. What was it? There's a couple of things you can do. It is a lot to do for one dish, but mm -hmm. if you go ahead and make it, portion it out, freeze mm -hmm. it, and you can pull it out of the freezer whenever you make when a you dish. When you need it. Yeah. And everyone, you can buy store-bought demi glace, but if you can, try making a batch at home. Uh, Soren has given us the recipe, and everything will be, will be available for you at HoustonTexasFood.com uh, after lunch today, including the recipe for demi glace. Try it once, and I think you'll never go back, right? That's right. And I think freezing it in little, like, ice cube portions, that trick mm -hmm. of putting it in an ice cube tray and then taking it out when you need it, you will love it. All right, so, Soren, let's talk about all the delicious dishes that Sorel Sorrel's is done. having for Houston Restaurant Weeks. Tell us about these dishes. Well, these are a few things. These are some uh, wild greens that we got from a local farm mm -hmm. that we make with a nice little myelin of vinaigrettes, and we, we crisp it up some cheese mm -hmm. and... A uh, little fresh tomato soup, mm -hmm. which we actually got the tomatoes from a local farm as well. Oh, nice. I'll uh, have a little taste. Is it a hot or a cold soup? It is a hot. Mmm. 
And then also this is a fresh spinach salad. Mm -hmm. We can eat some walnuts, mm -hmm. a little shaved manchego, mm -hmm. and a little serrano ham, so mm -hmm. a little Spanish twist on a salad. And then we have great desserts, but let's get back to our meat. Okay. Because I want to know, how do we know when that's done, Soren? Obviously, in the restaurant, we have the feel, but if you're at home, you yeah. want to do somewhere around 145 center temperature, because once you take it off, uh -huh. it will actually it will keep cooking yes. a little bit to about 155. All right, so that's a good point. So you recommend using a meat thermometer? Yes. Right? If you're and not experienced, then I would recommend that. And where would we insert the meat thermometer? You in Make sure you have it right in the center. You but do we it go from the top or from the side? From the side. Okay, so everyone, just like, you know, you take your meat thermometer and insert it from the side. And then give us the temperature again. It's about 145, because mm -hmm. once you take it out of the rest, mm -hmm. it, will, it will continue cooking a little bit to 160. And how long should we let it rest? Technically, you rest as long, almost as long as you cook it. Oh, I So, know that. in order to get the juices of the meat back mm -hmm. out into mm -hmm. the, the pork. Yeah. Um, but I'd say like five minutes, five yeah. to eight minutes. And then we just slice it. And here's what the delicious dish looks like when it's done, everyone, with the fabulous demi glace. The grilled polenta is underneath. And then he is. He has accessorized the dish yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. with some beautiful greens and a little fried tomatoes. Yeah, like yeah, it's a fried lotus root, and it adds a little crispiness to mm -hmm. the dish. So Very nice. It stays interesting. Well, everyone, this is a delicious meal that Soren Peterson is offering at his new restaurant, Sorel, West Alabama, in Greenbrier. And for every $35 dinner... They are donating $5 to the Houston Food Bank, and every $20 lunch, will, $3 will be donated. And you can get all the information on our website at myfoxhouston.com. Soren, thank you so much You're for coming welcome. out thank and you. for teaching us how to make a great pork tenderloin. All right, Jose, back to you. You're making everybody in the studio hungry. Oh, smells so good, too.